Hello dear friends. In this video, we are going to see simple warmer activities that is very useful to all tech coordinators as well as for teachers and students. So, let's see first advantages of warmers. What are the advantages of warmer for teachers? Warmers enable them to get students' attention and make them engage in the following steps. Actually, we are conducting the warmers. Our main intention to pay the attention of our learners, whatever the activities we are going to conduct. Next, break the monotony of learning. Make the task more interesting. Move students smoothly to the target language. Already you are familiar with this that our target language is English. So our focus that they will involve in that activity. Next, activate the students background knowledge. Help put aside distracting thoughts. Serve as a springboard into the topic or target language. Ensure the students' involvement in the class. Recognize the different types of students and their learning style. So these are the advantages of warmer that is very useful in our teaching learning process. Next for students, warmers enable them to. While the teacher is conducting warmers, they are useful for the students. What are the uses of warmers? So, in the students' points of view, get their minds focused on the lesson ahead. Next, get them started so the wheels in their heads can start turning. Means whatever the, their mind is thinking, they will divert from that and reach to the our aim point. Have fun and enjoyment at the beginning of the lesson. Definitely, warmers playing very important role that the students will enjoy and they focus on their learning. Know each other. Open up their creative thinking to apply learning in new ways. Feel comfortable with the environment and their classmates. Increase their participation. Review vocabulary from a previous class, have their energy, rest, think and speak in English. So these are the points that are uh, for students warmers enable to them too. Next, tips to manage a warmer activity. Now I know that the tag coordinators are conducting warmer activity in their tag meetings and teachers also implementing these warmers in their teaching learning profession. So what are the uh, tips for manage warm-up activity? Let's see. Normally the warm-up session is the first five minutes of the class. During this session, get students to relax, know each other and chat with their peers and with the teacher. There should be a good kind of mobilization. During the warm-up session, you should not over correct students mistakes so we have to take precaution like this that don't immediately correct the students otherwise they feel that someone is dominating them next plan well for the warm-up session in a way that facilitates the rest of the lesson increases students confidence and avoid students uh, feeling of worry that prevents them from saying or doing what you want and last control the tone of what is to take place during this session so these are the tips uh, to manage warm-up activity next we are going to see the first warm-up actually these all warm-ups are new for you that you will conduct in your tag meeting so let's see uh, what is the warm-up heal me so giving advice is always fun. Pretend to cough and ask students what you should do. Elicit answers such as drink a glass of water or use a cup drop. Write variants 
elements on pieces of paper and give them to students and tell them not to show the paper to anyone else. The students will act out the problem and the rest of the students will guess what's wrong and then offer solutions. So you will take this uh, warm up like making a two groups of your students as a tag coordinator points of view. You make uh, two groups of your tag teachers and uh, first you have to write some elements on that that is uh, familiar to them and then uh, they will not show what is the cheat they got and they will just do the action means tenity action ki which decision's name on that paper so they will do the action and the remaining members je shillak raile je tag teachers astil tenity action varna to azar konta ahe to olakhnyacha prayatna karaycha so if will they uh, if the uh, cheat the person got if he will do the proper action the others remaining will identify correctly and after that others members will give the suggestions means here we are giving a chance upon sandhi deto ki tag teachers na ki jasti jasta ingreji madhe bolna chi but at that time they will suggest that suppose we are taking one example that suppose the on the cheat uh, there is a name of cuff he is facing cuff problem so he will do the action of cuffing if the remaining members identified then they will suggest that what should the person who is facing that problem will do so they will suggest the a solution like that drink a glass of water use a cup drop or maybe uh, eat wix uh, uh, tablet maybe so in this way uh, you have to conduct this warmer so as a tag coordinator point of view you have to uh, list the names of elements that's fever cold headache sprained ankle runny nose sore muscles back pain etc so you first you have to identify that which types of learners in front of you then you will list uh, the elements or the name of the decisions or you may take a different topics for your warm up activity so this is a first warmer activity let's turn to the next warmer so warmer second is mixed up sentences already uh, in previous size, uh, slide i told you that uh, the first you have to know which type of audience or learners in front of you and then you have to identify the sentence structure so this is a uh, one of the very um, good warmer activity uh, so let's see how we conduct this activity warmer activity teacher writes a sentence on the board but mixes up the word order then challenge students to reconstruct the original sentence means teachers uh, will prepare with many sentences with mix up sentences and then one by one he will write the sentence on the board so before that uh, as a tag coordinator point of view tag coordinator kai karaycha ta aplya tag meeting la asnarya shikshakanche don group karaycha ani don group madhe डिवाइडेशन करून कॉम्पिटिशन टाइप हा वॉर्म अप ऍक्टिव्हिटी आहे म्हणजे टॅग कोऑर्डिनेटर तो वाक्य मिक्स अप वाक्य हा फल्यावर लिहून दाखवेल देन फ्रॉम द व्हिच ग्रुप विल फर्स्ट करेक्ट द सेंटेंस अँड विल गिव द आन्सर यू विल गेट दॅट ग्रुप विल गेट द पॉइंट्स सो इन दिस वे यू विल टेक दिस वॉर्मर ऍक्टिव्हिटी सो आय हॅव गिवन हियर सम एग्जांपल्स लेट्स सी फर्स्ट एग्जांपल our gratitude to show we have to them so this is a mix up sentence then what is the correct uh, structure of the sentence let's see we have to show our gratitude to them okay the next example is had traveled far was tired and the old man so the correct sentence uh, sentence is the old man had traveled far and was tired here the first letter 
of had h is capital so it is this is an error so i think that here is a small h then it will be proper so this is a mix up sentence uh, activity uh, i think that uh, it will beneficial to uh, for correcting the grammar prop of, of our students and also you will take in your tag meeting let's see the next warm up activity so warm up third is the last one standing so how to play this warmer get all of your students to make a big circle just in front of their chairs starts with your student standing in a circle okay explain to the class that you are going to give the class a topic that is maybe here are some suggestions uh, suggestions i mean here are some topics they have given uh, that is colors sports clothes food hot things school subjects adverbs countries whatever just make it level appropriate and something your class will know so here also they mentioned that to uh, know uh, the audience or the learners in front of you and then you have to provide the topics to them now let's say you have chosen a colors we are taking one example that suppose we have choose the topic that is color then uh what we can do to play the game the students to your left must then say a color that is red means already we made a circle and so we are pointing out one of the students and we are suggesting them a topic uh, suppose they have given the topic is color then the pointing person or the teacher will uh, utter the name of the color that is red then automatically the left person left teacher will uh, utter the next name of the color so the next students must say a new color for example yellow and the next students uh, and so on so in this way the game will play as soon as a students either repeats a word previously said or hesitates then they are out of the game and must sit down sir ekade vidyarthyane kiwa ekade shikshakane agodar alelas color cha naav quickly sangitla to tya game madun out hoil किंवा तो कलरचं नाव सांगायला जर थोडा वेळ लावत असेल तरी सुद्धा तो गेम मधून आउट होईल सो इन दिस वे द गेम्स विल रन इन द सर्कल अँड वी हॅव टू फोकस वन्स अगे ऑन द पॉइंट इज दॅट वन्स अ स्टुडंट इज आउट चेंज द टॉपिक अँड द गेम कंटिन्यू हा इथे आपण काळजी घ्यायची आहे की जिथे एखादा खेळाडू किंवा एखादा टीचर किंवा एखादा विद्यार्थी हा आउट झाला तर त्यावेळेस पुढच्या विद्यार्थ्याकडे जाताना आपल्याला टॉपिक चेंज करायचा त्यासाठी आपल्याला आपल्याकडे टॉपिक्स रेडी असले पाहिजेत त्यामुळे टॉपिक दिल्यानंतर पुन्हा हा कंटिन्युअसली गेम स्टार्ट होईल कीप गोईंग अराउंड द सर्कल इलिमिनेटिंग द स्टुडंट अँड गिव्हिंग न्यू टॉपिक्स अंटील ओनली वन स्टुडंट इज लेफ्ट स्टँडिंग आणि अशा प्रकारे खेळत खेळत राहायचं आहे आणि शेवटी त्या सर्कल मध्ये फक्त एकच विद्यार्थी हा किंवा एकच शिक्षक हा विनर झाला पाहिजे that student is the winner and the last one standing so it is appropriate name of the warm up which is suitable to our game so mala asa vatte ki ha game sagana samajla asel ki warm up activity samajle asel so let's move to the next warm up activity warm up 4 stop the bus <clears throat> it is also very interesting warm up activity how to play put your students or your tech teachers into small teams like of 3 or 4 students or even pairs if you have a smaller esl teens or adult class have your english students sat around separate tables or in a small circles on the floor floor each team need a piece of paper and some pens or pencil so this is our little bit preparation of playing the game so it is depend upon uh, you that how to form a group of your tech uh, teachers or maybe your students and then give some instruction that they will be ready with a piece of paper and pens in their hand then you have to give how to play the game means i mean instruction of that game when you are ready write a big letter on the board for example t and shout go now stop the bus really gets crazy so it is a responsibility of a tech teachers that he will write the big 
or capital letter on the blackboard that is any letter that is suppose we are taking one example that is a letter of T then what the remaining tag teachers will do the teams or maybe pairs if you have uh, make a group of the um, tag teachers then the teams now must write as many words as they can beginning with the letter T or whatever letter you wrote on the whiteboard so they will start to writing the alpha sorry words related that begins with t at any given point any student can shout out stop the bus like a bingo and everyone in the classroom must immediately put down their pens and stop writing go around and check how many words each team has written and discount any words which are repeated. So it is responsibility of tag teachers. If the teachers, uh, someone says that stop the bus, then the uh, tag coordinator will check the words of each team, how many words they wrote. And also check if there is a, any word that is repeated, that words also eliminated. So now at the end, you have to count the words of each group and those group has already wrote more words give the points to that team okay the team with the worst words spelled correctly is the winner yeah this is also very important check the spell of the words also that is very essential uh, students usually call out stop the bus when they think their team has got a lot of words and feel that they can't be caught but sometimes it backfires and another team has more म्हणजे कसं सांगायचं झालं तर कधी कधी असं होतं की एखाद्या टीमच्या मेंबर्स असं वाटतं की आपण सगळ्यात जास्त शब्द लिहिलेले आहेत आणि त्यामुळे ते स्टॉप द बस म्हणू शकतात बट व्हेन दे विल से स्टॉप द बस ऑटोमॅटिकली बोथ ग्रुप आर स्टॉप रायटिंग बट व्हेन द टॅग कॉर्डिनेटर ऑर अ टीचर चेकिंग द वर्ड्स ऍट दॅट टाइम दोज ग्रुप ऑलरेडी सेड स्टॉप द बस चेक द स्पेलिंग ऑफ दॅट सेंट वर्ड्स also check repeated words and then count so uh, it's possible or it will happen the remaining group those who have not said the uh, to stop the bus but they will write more words than the previous group it's also happen so in this way you have to play the game stop the bus let's say the next warm up activity uh, warm up for you that is running dictation this is also very entertaining and enjoyable activity uh, what you have to do teacher will ready with the list of dictation words make two or three groups of students in this first sentence they have mentioned that teacher will ready with the list of dictation words now if the tag coordinator is conducting this warm up so he will know that which types of learner in front of him or her so the all the teachers so you have to make a list of dictation words that is also suitable to their age and if suppose you are conducting this activity to uh, for the students then the ability of the students you have to identify it and then the mix make the list of the words so uh, tag teachers ne asha prakar chi list hi pailanda tayar karun thevayla havi and tanantar tell them to choose on leader who will write the words which dictated by their each group members tar tumhi kay karaycha hai tag teachers ne aplya purna tag me je teachers astil tanche don group karaycha ani donni group la instruction daycha ki tumhi tumcha group leader choose kara jo phakt lihnyacha kaam kare okay and from each group when the tag coordinator will say that start the games from each group one person will go to the list of the words by running and memorize one word and come to the group and tell that word to the leader and the leader will write the word on that papers sagane lakshat ala asel ki ek pratyek team manna ek ek jo ahe tag teachers to kay dhavat palat jail je list samot accordant doni group na thevle asel ya ta ek shabd bagel तो लक्षात ठेवेल विथ स्पेल आणि येऊन आपल्या ग्रुप लिडरला सांगेल अशा प्रकारे प्रत्येक ग्रुप मधला व्यक्ती हा पुढे जाईल शब्द सांगेल आणि अशा प्रकारे जो ग्रुप सगळ्याच लवकर सगळे शब्द कम्प्लीट करेल मग ते शब्द आपल्या तपासायचे आहेत बघा 
runs back and dictates it to the partner leader who then writes it down those group will write more correct words and finish within time will be the winner so tag coder will give them a uh, time that is uh, uh, five minutes so those group will complete more words with correct spell that group will be winner so in this way we will conduct the this warmer that is running dictation next warmer is odd one out i think this is a little bit familiar to you so odd one out give the students a couple of examples to guess then get students to come up with their own ideas here are some examples how to play this game actually the tag coordinator will write uh, this bunch of um, or couple of examples on the papers and he or she will distribute these examples in the group or in the pair uh, and those who will correct or find out the odd one out with the reason that is very important with the reasons and if that is correct then uh, encourage that group in this way you will play the odd one out game here are some examples that is apple peach banana and tomato now the odd one out is the word is banana what is the reason a banana doesn't have seeds so here the thing is very important that they have to tell the reason of odd word next strawberry branch bowling ball boat iceberg bowling balls don't don't float other remaining things are float in the water so this is the reason window river envelope client on orangutan so client doesn't begin and end with the same letter here there is a twisty couple of example has given uh, so in this way you have to give uh, distracting example then it will very interesting uh, game a com campagan knife plum the word plum doesn't contain any silent letter note baga com campagan knife and plum so this is a couple of examples or maybe this example is related to silent letter so before playing the game uh, the tag coordinator or teachers must be prepared with the examples then will it will be very easy to conduct this game there are can be more than one correct answer there are possibilities that uh, one or more correct answers so let's see the next warmer up activity guess who am i think this is also a little bit familiar to the you that teacher will ready with the 10 to 20 persons so this is a preparation of playing the games that uh, teachers or tag coordinators will ready with the puzzles then make two groups of uh, your tag teachers and then give instruction how to play and the time limit and who will give the quick answers that group will get a point in this way a competitive way you will conduct this game then make two or three groups of teachers students teachers or volunteer will read the puzzle the team which quickly identified the puzzle will get the points in this way the game will continue for example i have given one example there is a word in the english language in which the first two letters signify a male the first three letters signify a female the first four signify a great man and the whole word a great woman what is the word then the group who will give the quick answer please give them a point so the answer is heroine so in this way you have to prepare with the puzzles then step by step you will tell them the puzzles and in this way you have to conduct the game let's see the next warm up activity that is finish the thought teacher writes the beginning of a sentence on the board students are asked to complete it 
okay so it is dependent upon the learners or students that how you he will end the sentence or complete the sentence but teachers must be ready with the sentences example has given here today i am happy about whatever may the answer but he uh, while conducting this warm up activity we are giving our tech teachers opportunity to speak more in the target language means in english language okay so today the next is today will be awesome because yesterday i wish i had so in this way you have to you should prepare you should ready with the thoughts or incomplete sentences and provide them or write the incomplete sentence on the boards and tell the remaining teachers to complete the sentence so in this way you will conduct this warm up activity let's see the next warm up activity i went to the market so how to play this warm up this circle game begins with a simple statement okay first you have to make a circle then tell them instruction how to play the game and how to complete the sentences so uh, i went to the market and bought a uh, anything the first person or the tech teachers will say like this the first students or tech teachers adds a noun that is uh, i went to the market and bought a bag of flour the second students reads and adds a packet of tea the third students reads and adds a kilo of sugar and so on uh, they will add the noun uh, in that sentence uh, by the end of the circle the student will require to have memorized a dozen of nouns and major major expressions so in this way you will conduct this or more activities that i went to the market now we are going to see the last warm up activity that is what does your name mean okay now to see the pandemic session of covid uh, we are taking help of social media uh, in teaching learning process so i think that this is also related to uh, you uh, already google or maybe social media with the help of social media we are going to play this game or conducting this warm up uh, using a dictionary google a mobile or any other resources students or tech teachers find and write down an appropriate adjective that begins with each letters of their first name so first the tech teachers or teachers will tell instruction of playing this warm up activity how they will find out with the help of mobile or with the help of google the adjectives which related to their names asha prakar jar apan tena first instruction samjhaun sangitla tar te nichitas aplya mobile var tya sandarbhat adjective shodhun kadtin ani tyanantar te tyacha paddhatine game khelu shakta for example let's see that is hany the name is hany the first letter is h so uh i think that uh, he will tell the adjective that is honest active neat youthful or here is one another example that is i have given that you will conduct the this warmer activity in two way in first example the first adjective he will tell that is related to their names first letter but in the second example we are seeing that all adjectives are related to the first letter that is sanjay smart strong simple super and if in first example there are adjectives are different but that is suitable to the name so in this way you will uh, take this warm up so dear friends here i tried to explain uh, warm up activity i know that the all tag coordinators are conducting uh, tag meetings in their cluster so they have a need of new warm ups uh, to implement in tag meeting so i hope that these are these warm ups are helpful to them and i request to all tag coordinator that if suppose they don't understand 
and the rules uh, of our rules are how to play one of the armor definitely you will call me uh, so i think that uh, whatever the warmers i have given uh, i hope that you will understand uh, so now it's time to say bye bye uh, and thank you very much for watching my videos uh, so bye bye see you again thank you